Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for letting us join your classroom this morning with school announcements. But first, let's hear from Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm, I'm just really glad to say we're having homemade pizza today, lots of different toppings. Make sure you come down and, and have some pizza. And then on Thursday, first time ever, we're making Philly steak and cheese sandwiches. So please come down and try one out. And reminder, 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 don't forget to put in your purple applications because you're going to revert to full pay if you are qualified and haven't filled out a new form. Also, there's no charging. Please pay your charges. Don't make me let you down. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please remember to return your free and reduced lunch forms to Miss Betsy ASAP so you can continue to eat meals without any hassles. The deadline is September 27th. If you need a form, please see Ms. Betsy in the cafeteria or your advisory teacher. Glads, if you wanted to donate your gently used or new items or clothing and blankets for the hurricane relief, there's still time. Bring your donations to the collection center in front of the main office. You can still make a difference. Jeremiah, have you had a chance to check out the new Facebook page for the yearbook? I have, and it's pretty cool that we can just message them with our photos so they can use them in the yearbook. That's right, Glads. All you have to do to submit your photos is like the yearbook page on Facebook. It's Widefield HS Yearbook. Then simply message them with your photos, and the yearbook staff will do the rest. I'm excited to share my photos with them and maybe see them published in the yearbook in the spring. JJ, that's not all the yearbook news. Glads, you can buy your yearbooks for now for only $55 in the business office. Prices will go up soon. Also, seniors, listen up. The deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook must be submitted to Ms. Kennedy on October 13th or October 20th. October 20th is the last day you can bring those in if you want them in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff or room 104 as soon as possible. Wow, those deadlines are coming fast. Hey, Corinne, I know we're only sophomores, but have you started thinking about where you want to attend college? JJ, you're right. It's still a little early, but I have been paying attention to the schools who come to visit. Do you have the lineups so juniors and seniors know too? I certainly do. Students, most visits are during advisory in the counseling center and you will need a pass to attend. Here's the lineup for those visits. Today, we have Mr. Shub's alma mater, the University of Northern Colorado in Greeley. Tomorrow, the University of New Mexico will be here. Next week on Tuesday, September 26th, UCCS will be here. Kicking off the October visits is California Baptist University on October 3rd. Colorado Mesa will be here on October 4th. And we have two schools on October 10th. Paul Mitchell, the school, will be here at lunch in Fort Hayes State University will be here during advisory. Hastings College plans to be here on October 12th. And joining the lineup for October is CSU Pueblo on October 17th. Luther College kicks off November visits on Thursday, November 2nd. And Adams State will be here on Thursday, November 16th. Mark your calendars with these dates and swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your pass to attend. Those are some great schools. Glats, if you cannot make it to these visits, remember this is also a college fair on Monday, September 25th at Coronado High School from 5.30 to 7.30. You can speak to, to over 150 college representatives that night. For more information, go to this address. Now, here's Ethan Simon with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon with your Gladiator Sports Update. Hey Glads, Boys Basketball Open Gyms started on Monday. They are in Bowers Gym from 6 to 8 p.m. and will be on Mondays and Wednesdays. If you are interested but cannot make it, see Coach Munoz in room 207. In softball news, the Lady Glads took to the diamond against Canyon City and our Lady Glads have some hot bats. They easily tamed the Tigers. The boys tennis team made history on Monday at their match against Canyon City where all team members won their matches. The boys took on Harrison at home and continued their winning streak. 
In soccer news, the boys fought hard at Gary Berry Stadium against the Cougars and kicked in a dub to their season record. The soccer team is home against Elizabeth at 4 p.m. on Thursday. In volleyball news, our Lady Glads continued to add wins to their season records with their match against Falcon. The ladies play again on Thursday at 6.30 at home against Fountain Fort Carson. Finally, we have another gladiator nominated for the Extra Athlete of the Week. Please cast your vote for Leandra Cruz at this address by Thursday night at midnight. Good luck to all our sports teams this week. That's it for our sports update. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to you, Curran and JJ. Thanks, Ethan. Attention juniors, if you are interested in making the PSAT test on Wednesday, October 11th, during periods 1 through 4, you need to sign up and pay the fee no later than October 6th. The cost is $16, and you can see Miss Abeda in the Counseling Center to sign up and pay that fee. The test is off, but if you're interested in applying for the National Merit Scholar Scholarship, you must take this test. See the Counseling Center website for more information. Oh, and juniors and seniors, keep this in mind. October 28th is the only date this year where WAHS is a test site for the National a ACT. The deadline to register is this Friday, September 22nd, and the fee is $46. Go to act.org to register. The school code for WHS is 060299. See Mr. Thiel in the Counseling Center for more information. Want to go on a cool adventure? Ms. Murphy is taking a group of students to the Galapagos Islands in June of 2019. If you're interested in this amazing trip but missed the meeting, please see Ms. Murphy in room 123 to pick up a flyer. Finally, here's your club and activities update for Wednesday and Thursday. Student Union is open in the library every day from 3 to 4.15. You must have a sticker on your ID to stay and play or to work on homework. For those of you who enjoy tabletop games, the club meets on Wednesdays in room 160 from 3 to 5 p.m. DECA and FBLA meet on Wednesdays at lunch in lab 159. Mark your calendars for these Thursday meetings. Freshman, junior, and senior councils meet at lunch. Freshman council meets in room 2, junior council meets in room 166, while the senior council currently meets in room 101. The pop orchestra meets in room 750 after school on Thursdays from 3 to 5 p.m. Mr. Nell hosts the Cyber Patriot Club on Thursdays at 3 p.m. in his room. Remember that the Environmental Club will be picking up recycled materials Thursday during advisory, and the Robotics Club will be meeting in room 160 from 3 to 5 on Thursdays. This just in, the link crew changed their meeting times from lunch on Tuesdays and Thursdays to advisories on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Glads, we have a lot of ways you can get involved in school and it's a great way to make new friends. Here's a short message from Miss Sardinia in the Power Club. Hi guys, so I wanted to tell everyone about Power Club. Um, we have our first meeting this Friday at lunch in room 130. Just a couple things about Power Club. Um, we're really focused on making Whitefield a more positive place, doing community service, um, um, going and cheering at sports events. Uh, we've got a community cleanup coming up, maybe even helping out teachers, just writing some nice notes to people, just all around making it a more positive atmosphere. We'll probably meet about once a month. We will have pizza at our first meeting, so if anyone's interested, we'd love to see as many people there as possible. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Mr. Shoot. Just want to touch base with you because today is an intervention advisory day. You have some choices of where you can go. You're either going to be going to a classroom, a small gym, the library, or the upper commons. Those are your choices. Once you go to those places, it is our expectation that you stay in those places. We will not be roaming the halls or running around from place to place. Once you go there, you stay there. Hope it goes well for you today, guys. Hopefully you're not in my office for not following these rules. Have a great day. That's all for us today. Have a great Wednesday, and tune in on, what, on Friday for more information and updates. Until then, I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News.